Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. How can your running shoe insert show you whether or not you're at risk for a metatarsal stress fracture? Well, that's what we're talking about today on the Doc on the Run podcast. Now listen, when you get a stress fracture, you have to remember that it is a stress-related injury. That's why it's called a stress fracture. It's not a run-too-much fracture. It's not a ran-too-far fracture. It's a too-much stress fracture. So if you want to know whether or not you're at risk of getting one as you ramp up your training, one of the simplest things you can do is look at your running shoes. Now, what you'll read a lot about when assessing your running shoes is things like assessing the wear pattern, you know, on the sole, on the bottom of the foot, looking at where you're landing, all that sort of stuff. But there's another trick you can use, which I often use when I'm even doing webcam consultations with people or if somebody signs up for the metatarsal stress fracture course, I actually have them do this. And I'll say, okay, here's what you do. Take a running shoe, any running shoe, preferably one you have run in a lot recently. What you do is you take the insert out of the shoe. And when you look at it, well, first of all, a black shoe insert like this one, much more difficult to assess. But if you look at it from a number of angles in different light, you will start to see very clear wear patterns where your uh, big toe is, where the second toe is, where the uh, big toe joint is, where the fifth metatarsal actually lands, where the heel is, all of that. You'll see that on the running shoe. Now, if you have, a, if you have one that has a lighter colored insert like this one, that helps. So when you take this one out, it's light. So if you look at it on this one, it is much easier to see where the wear is under the big toe joint, where the wear is at the ball of the foot. And if you look at this one in particular, where the wear pattern is on the ball of the foot here where the metatarsal heads, one, two, three, four, and five all hit, well, it's fairly uniform and even. But whenever I see runners who have had a metatarsal stress fracture, uh, what happens is you, I will take the insert out of the running shoes to look at them and modify them the same kind of way I show you to do in the metatarsal stress fracture course. And as soon as I pull the insert out and I look at it, there's always significantly more wear right under the head of that metatarsal where the foot's hitting the ground. And when you have uh, you know, too much pressure under that one metatarsal, that's why it gets a stress fracture. So sometimes if you can modify the insert and you can reduce some pressure to that one metatarsal, it will really reduce your risk of getting a stress fracture. So there's some very, very simple ways to do that. But if you want to tell whether or not you're at risk of that, pull out your running shoe. If you pull out your shoe insert and like the one I just showed you, it's fairly even wear all the way across the ball of the foot where all five of the metatarsal bones are hitting the insert, very low risk of a stress fracture. If you have one area where you have lots of wear, lots of abrasion, lots of wearing away or wearing a hole in the insert or something like that in that one spot, that one structure in that spot is way more likely to get an injury like a metatarsal stress fracture. So if you have an insert and you're wondering about that, you can send them to me if you're in the, um, the fast track challenge, for example. I use those as examples to show you like what to do to take pressure off of that, how to assess it as you're going through and trying to figure out whether or not it's safe for you to run as you have this aching pain in your foot. But you've got to look at your insert. So uh, if you want to send pictures of me to the, so I can use them as examples, I could, but um, very easy to do yourself. It's not complicated. So you just have to remember where is the wear? What structure is taking the most stress based on that wear pattern? And when you look at your insert, particularly if you've been running the shoes for a while, they can give you a huge amount of help to making sure that you decrease the stress and strain to that one bone so that you don't get a metatarsal stress fracture. Now, if you found this episode helpful, please like it, please subscribe, please share it, and I'll see you in the next training. Listen, no matter where you are in your running injury recovery, if you feel stuck, if you're losing your running fitness, if you're confused about what you should do next, I created something for you that can really help if you're recovering from an injury, you know you're getting weaker, you want to get stronger, and you don't want to get left behind. You've got to take the running injury quiz to help you figure out exactly what's needed to speed up your running injury recovery wherever you are in that process right now. I promise it's going to give you some things that you can think about that you can actually be doing differently based on your unique circumstances right now. You got to go check it out, go through the quiz, and I promise it'll help you. You can get it free. It's at docontherun.com slash quiz. So go check it out now. DocOnTheRun.com slash quiz. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.